Who are you? I'm uh, Greg Ginn. Greg, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Oh, it's good to be here, especially during the summer. I love it. On the occasion of Ron Reyes' 50th birthday party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, That's it's going to be fun. Now, I want to ask you right off the bat, SST Records, when was the last time that you made electronics? When did you stop making electronics? Well, um... Because I love looking at your electronics. I looked at some on eBay. Some people have them for sale on eBay. Yeah, uh, a couple times people have brought some of the um, uh, electronics gear I made back, way back then to the show and had me sign it. Well, <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> but uh, let me see, probably... Uh, it looks early, early 80s, maybe, around then. Because I love it, because it has the SST logo. It's just really cool. I could see people coming to the shows and doing that. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. There's not a big crossover between ham radio and... Uh, Punk rock? Or whatever, yeah, and music too much. So, Greg, you're here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, on the occasion of Ron Reyes' 50th birthday party. When was the last time you were on stage with that gentleman right over here? Come over here, Ron. I don't know. It, uh, uh, too long. It was at the, the, the Club Soda when, when Gone was here. And I got up with you guys and played uh, Jealous again. Oh, that's... I don't know. what, what When was that? That was 10 years ago, at least. More. Something like that. Yeah, 15 years ago. More. Yeah. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it again. <laughs> gonna do it again. Yeah. Here's a little song for you, Hermosa Beach style. And winding up here, lastly, I was wondering there, Craig Ginn of Black Flag here up to celebrate Ron Reyes, Ron Reyes' 50th birthday party. Yeah. Salad bars. How important were salad bars to Black Flag? Well, very important for me because uh, I'm a vegetarian. Well, I'm vegan now as I used to eat cheese and that stuff. Um, but... Uh, the food is a lot better across the country now. There's a lot better options, but touring with Black Flag, if, uh, it was difficult to get good food, so I guess salad bar is... It worked well, and I understand it really worked really well because you would go up to the salad bar with the tray and fill up the tray and not the plate, and it fed the whole band. At times, yeah. Spray Paint the Walls by Stevie Chick. All about Black Flag, because on the back there is... You, Greg. I, I, t t I haven't seen this book before. 
and um, a lot of times uh, the, or, uh, the accuracy of some of this stuff comes into question because I, I don't know. I don't read, to be honest, I don't read rock books. I've never read a, like a rock book. I don't, I listen to music, but I don't want to, I'm not really interested in even other bands. In my own, I'm particularly not interested because there's nothing new. I can't. I, so I can't comment because I've never read a rock book. Exactly. Well, one thing you know, I found interesting is they mentioned that David Bowie once came to a Black Flag gig. Do you ever remember anything about this David Bowie coming to a Black Flag gig? No. <laughs> See, I don't know. That's what I was wondering, because that's what it said in the book. So I was just curious about David Bowie coming to a Black Flag gig. I, it's one of those... Peop, I, I've had that uh, at times where people have argued with me about something. It's like, I read this in this book. Did this happen? And I don't know if David Bowie came to a gig. He may have. I, but it's the first I've ever heard of it. Um, but uh, you have people sometimes arguing with me. But I read it here. And it's like, well, I'm sorry I was there. But anyway. Well, one of Kurt Cobain's first gig, if not his first punk gig, was Black Flag. So Kurt Cobain did see Black Flag. That has been documented by the Melvins. And I guess I was just curious, did you ever meet Kurt Cobain at all? No. But it was the SST store that Kurt Cobain phoned to get Pat Smear to join Nirvana. So SST is kind of embroiled in that. Did you ever know about that? I, I don't know. I never really got very much into grunge. Um... It just wasn't really so much my thing. So I, I like some of the early bands um, a lot, uh, Skin Yard and Soundgarden, um, but uh, it just wasn't really my thing. So I haven't heard a lot of it. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all, Greg? No, just happy birthday to Ron. Well, thanks so much, Greg. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 loot do Dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> You are the nerd. <laughs> nerd alert. <laughs>